Grade seven, let's have a review. Number one question, what is the constant term in 3x plus 8 minus 5y? So we have the bracket or the parenthesis here. So how many, or what is the constant term? So there are three terms, one, two, three. So those terms are separated by plus and minus sign. So we are looking for the constant term. So what is your answer? 3x, 8, or negative 5y? So the correct answer here is, just look at the term without a variable. So the correct answer is 8. So that is the constant term. Sometimes, uh, the constant term, you can find it in the last term. But here, since uh, the uh, expression is not properly arranged, so the constant, constant term is at the middle. So the middle term. Now, let's proceed to question number two. How many terms are there in negative 10 a cubed plus 4a times 6a squared? plus 4a square root of 9. The question is how many terms? As, as, as I said, terms are separated by plus and minus sign. So in this case, uh, the operation is addition. We have here, then another here. So just count. 1, 2, 3. So the answer here is there are 3 terms. Next, question number three. What is the degree of the expression 2q x raised to the fourth power y raised to the eighth power? Now, to find the degree of this expression, algebraic expression, you just only uh, add the exponent of the variable. So, since this is a monomial, we need to add 4 plus 8. Do not include 3 in adding the exponent because we can simplify 2 cube. So only 4 and 8. So 4 plus 8, add 4 plus 8 is equals to 12. So the answer in number 3 is 12. So how did we get it? By adding 4 and 8. Question number 4. Write the sentence, the product of 6 and the sum of a number and 8 in symbols. Now this is changing uh, phrases into algebraic expression. So let us analyze the uh, given statement. So the product, meaning you are going to use multiplication. The product of what? Of 6 and the sum of a number. And eight. So let's start here. The sum of a number and eight. If we will use x as our number, so x plus eight. So from the sum of a number and eight, so we let x be the number. So x plus eight. Then the product of six. So the product of six is we are going to multiply this by six. So this is now the answer. The product of 6 and the sum of a number and 8. So just uh, analyze the phrase. Changing phrases and algebraic expression. Next, if x equals negative 4, what is the value of 5x plus 3? So all you have to do is substitution. So this is evaluating algebraic expression because uh, there's a given value for x which is equals to negative 4. So the solution will be 5 times negative 4 plus 3 equals to that. Then 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 plus 3. Then negative 20 plus 3. Positive, uh, negative, positive. Then the operation is addition. We just subtract 20 minus 3 equals 17. Then copy the sign of the given number. So the answer is negative 17. Next, number six, simplify. 
quantity to x squared y cubed raised to the fifth power. So we have the exponent here. All you have to do is you need to distribute the exponent inside the terms of the parentheses. So we have now equals 2 raised to the fifth x raised to, you are going to multiply the exponent. 2 times 5 equals 10, then 3 times 5 equals 15. So y raised to 15. Then 2 raised to the fifth power, meaning 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Do not multiply 2 times 5. So that is wrong. So 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 2, 16, 16 times 2, 32. So the final answer here, 32, x raised to 10, y raised to 15. So this is now the final answer. Okay, the last is simplify 20x raised to 4, y raised to the fifth, then over 4x squared, y raised to the fifth. So first, divide the whole number. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Then x raised to 4 over x squared, you just subtract the exponent. 4 minus 2 equals 2. So there's a remaining uh, x squared here. So x squared. Then y raised to the fifth over y raised to the fifth, subtract 5 minus 5 equals 0, so 0, uh, y raised to 0 equals 1, so in short, it will become 1, so this is now the final answer, as simple as that, did you understand, grade 7, okay, question number 8, find the product 2x squared times 8x minus 6, so we have a monomial then binomial, so when we say product, we are going to use multiplication, so, we will apply here distributive property of multiplication. 2 times 2x squared times 8x, 2 times 8 equals 16. Then, x squared times x, all you have to do is add the exponent. So, understand there is 1 here. 2 plus 1 plus 3, so x cubed. Then, 2 times negative 6 equals negative 12. So, negative 12, then x squared, we don't have variable here, so just copy. So this is now the answer. Very easy. All you have to do is use distributive property of multiplication. Now, how about this? Find the quotient, number 9. So if we are going to divide this, since this is written in horizontal form, we can write this as 8x cubed raised to 8 minus 12x raised to 6 plus 6x squared all over. So 2x squared over 2x squared over 2x squared so 8 divided by 2 is how many so we have now 4 8 minus 2 is equals to 6 so x raised to 6 minus 12 divided by 2 equals 6 then 6 minus 2 equals okay, equals 4 so x raised to 4 then 6 divided by 2 equals 3 then 2 minus 2 equals 0 so that will become 1 so just leave it as constant, 3. So the final answer now would be 4x raised to 6 minus 6x raised to 4 plus 3. Next, question number 10. Find the sum. So meaning you are going to use addition here. Find the sum. So plus. Okay. So if there is a parenthesis, all you have to do is just remove it. So combine similar terms, we have now 3x plus 2x, then plus y minus 2y, plus 6 plus 10. So just remove the parenthesis or the, the uh, bracket. So 3x plus 2x equals 5x, y minus 2y. So understood there's 1 here, 1 minus 2 equals negative 1. So negative 1y or negative y. So minus y, then 6 plus 10 equals 16. So this is now the answer. Okay?